Hi, Courtney Robinson here today with Jameson behind me, my little rat terrier sidekick. And I wanted to come back with my little frugal moment series that I used to do. And I'm going to challenge myself to do at least one of these a day for the next seven days. And I'm going to start with a saying that was very popular during the depression that my grandmother taught me. And at least I think she did. I think I got it from her because I remember hearing it while I was growing up, and that is use it up, wear it out, or do without. And I was fortunate in the sense that my grandparents raised me. They were my primary caregivers. And I learned so many frugal habits. And I really believe, I know a lot of people say they kind of poo-poo the latte factor, but I really do believe that so much of my success in life and being self-made to the point of going from being extremely broke to being very comfortable and far ahead in a short period of time from where I would have been comes from a lot of my habits and a lot of the really small day-to-day -day things that I do that would seem insignificant to a lot of people, but they really add up. So I was gonna give you some quick examples. So use it up. I've recently been on a no spend, low spend. And basically I just question everything I purchase. Is it necessary? Um, do I need it? Can I save money on it if I decide that I do need it? If it's a want, will it bring value to my life? So it, I've been on one year no spends before where I only bought what was necessary. I had like parameters. And so one area where I've been using it up has been makeup, toothpaste, shampoo, soaps. Um, this I've been I went through the house and got all the old toothpaste containers, and I've been trying to get all of those used up and throw them away before we buy any more because we have kids and they've grown up and left. But we have in our guest bathroom, you know, all these tubes of toothpaste for people if people have left here or when the kids were here. So I'm trying to use that up. We also had multiple shampoo bottles with a little bit of shampoo. I think we had like eight between two bathrooms and conditioner. I even got to the point of using up some of the little samples that I had because that, that one is just clutter and you need to use it up. And um, this morning I realized I needed some pump soap for the kitchen. I went around, I found four bottles of, of pump soap that had about a quarter of soap left in them and I just mixed them all together and I put them in one of my little pretty uh, soap containers that I had from TJ Maxx and use that instead of going and ordering more. So using things up, wear it out. I started thinking about my phone. One of the reasons I'm not doing like high editing or anything like that is because I have an iPhone 7 from 2016. It's not that old, but I bought, a, I bought an older iPhone because we pay cash and use straight talk. And it's getting really full. There's not a lot of storage, so I can't do long videos. I'm not really good at editing, and I also need a new Chromebook or a new computer. And the reason I'm waiting is because we are right at the end of paying our house off. We have about three months. We Every extra penny is going on the house to be able to do that. It's pretty tight to do it. And so I am waiting. So I thought to myself, what is accessible? Like, what is the low entry point? And that is, I can shoot short videos. I can uh, point and shoot. I don't do a lot of editing and get those up on my phone really easy as long as they're not too long. With my pots and pans, I have pots and pans that were my grandmother's. People have given me pots and pans because they see I'm using these pots and pans that are literally about 70 years old because my grandmother died 30 years ago and she had had them, I think they're from the 40s. So, um, but they're fantastic and they don't make them anymore. I believe they're stainless steel with copper bottom. I can't remember the name, but if you can find them, they're very expensive used now and I am just using those things till they wear out. The next thing is to do without. So one area where I've done without and how I find value is if I have wanted something for a long time and I don't get it and I start and I still want it like years later and that has been to have a queen size guest bed in our guest restroom, guest bedroom instead of a twin bed. And the reason is, is we're wanting to travel more. My husband's going part time in a year and I want to have people come and stay here and watch the house. 
Also, our kids are getting grown and they don't want to sweet sleep in a twin bed. They're, the boys are tall, their feet hang off, and some of them are getting married. And so that is something that I have just done without. We have had a twin bed, they sleep in our guest house. But if we have a lot of people home or we have people staying with the animals, we want that. So as soon as the house is paid off, I'm working on selling that twin bed right now so I can buy another one. But I've done without one for four years without a queen size bed. Another area I've been thinking about is swimsuits. Um, I've lost about 30 pounds. And last year I purchased a few swimsuits and just because I'm short and I have a short waist and the way they're cut now, you know, it's 2022. Women's swimsuits are high cut and they show a lot of your behind and I don't really like that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do without swimsuits, but clothing in general, I've been trying to just wear the same things over and over again and do without. As a matter of fact, I've worn this shirt twice this week. I wear an apron to keep it clean. I, I don't see the same people every day and no one really remembers what I wear. So I teach, I'm a yoga therapist in a darkish room. I wear sweaters over the sweaters or coats. So I've just been making do with what I have because quite frankly, I don't, I've got plenty of clothes. And if I have, let's say 30 shirts in there and sweaters and I'm not wearing them all, does it make sense to go buy more? Not really. So I'm just doing without right now until the next season, which spring is up on us in a couple of months. So those are my tips. Use it up, wear it out, or do without. And sometimes we can do without, at least for a while. And that will help us save in other areas. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It gets the message out to help other people. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.